Hello, Chris Walker here with the Ganji Fan Channel here in Hawaii. And today is another exciting day because Angelina Jordan is starting to come out with more music more frequently now after that long drought through most of 2020. She's just come out with a brand new cover song. Actually, she had done a shorter version, a one minute version of this on Instagram. This is All I Ask by Adele. But this is going to be studio quality uh, sound, the full version of the song. Uh, so I already had uh, reviewed this as part of my A to Z series of all of Rusty Shackleford's um, songs in his uh, compilation. And uh, so this is going to be kind of a follow-up to that. Um, and I will compare it a little bit with the Instagram version. But this is very exciting. She's supposed to be coming out with another uh, cover pretty soon, too, she said in her Patreon. And this is also different from her usual, from her ones from the past, in which, in that it is a uh, definite studio production here. I scrubbed through it a little without hearing the sound, just to see if it was more than one camera. And it's several different cameras, so it's definitely a production thing. You know, she's moving up in the world in terms of her video slickness. So, all right, let's go. Oh, well, already it's, uh, it's, uh, I said with her older, her Instagram one that, you know, that I would rate it as a, a masterpiece of singing if it were longer. And this one is, so this is going to be a masterpiece, I already know. And she's definitely, you can see how her uh, voice has matured. Uh, just so much expression there, beautiful breathiness, a moderate amount of raspiness here. And, well, let's see, I, I could see myself crying on this one. Let's go. There is no tomorrow. He's certainly looking all grown up too. Uh, the video, I'm liking the uh, the kind of uh, <clears throat> romantic dark dark room quality. It looks it seems to be the same um, studio setting where she did uh, her Million Miles live in studio version. What one thing I really want to see is her to do a production video that's like set in a, a nightclub scene, like she had in Lilyhammer. She had a brief scene of her singing in a nightclub. Some song like this, or um, Seventh Heaven. I'm hoping for that. Shallow focus. It's already in your eyes, 
and I'm sure my eyes they speak for me. No one knows me like you do. And since you're the only one that matters, you tell me who do I do? Don't get me wrong, I know there is no tomorrow. All I ask is if this is my last night with you. Well, bravo, bravo. She uh, was going more for the pure voice in the Instagram one. Here she's doing more of the raspiness, more of a jazzy style. And that's great. I listened to the uh, two live Adele versions of this before. And uh, yep, once again, she's better than Adele. Of the, now she's done four complete Adele songs. I guess that plane probably isn't too loud in the background. He's done four complete Adele songs. And of those, three of them are, she's definitely, I think, quite a bit better than Adele. And this is one of those three. And um, it just goes to show you that, you know, often they will talk about how, well, look at all of these, uh, you know, record sales and Grammys that Adele has and, you know, Angelina doesn't. Well, the... Uh, you know, the record sales and the Grammys certainly have nothing to do with her singing ability. She's, you know, I think that she's better than Adele. And this is coming from somebody who was a big fan of Adele and, and still am a fan of Adele's. But, you know, um, Angelina's better. It's kind of, there's so many things that go into making somebody break out that have little to do with their actual talent. I mean, even the Beatles... We think of their, well, at least the older people among us, we think of their big breakout hit singles in the early 60s. But actually, those had already come out, like, I think it was like the year before on a smaller record label without the big publicity push. And those exact same singles that we see as iconic and that would all went to the very top of the charts and did not chart well. So she's kind of at that stage where she's about ready to break out, but... Um, you know, we can't look at, uh, you know, Adele having a lot more sales than her as any indication of, of you know, uh, artistic difference. She is just masterful. Um, all right, so it might be time for me to do another mashup of Adele and Angelina. I'm so looking forward to this period this year where we're going to be obviously getting a lot more music from her than we did last year. Uh, one thing I want to say about this is a production video like this, you can tell in a couple of places, I look for things like this as somebody does a lot of video editing, you can tell that these cameras were not all shooting at the same time. In other words, there were second takes at least of the video, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But that does mean that either either some lip syncing is going on or it's a combination of different audio takes. I think it's more likely that there is some lip syncing with some of the, some of the shots. Um, you can tell, I'll, I'll show you a slow down towards the end, a transition from one shot to another where you can see that, you know, these were done at two different times. And again, that's, that's perfectly fine. Her best video ever was, I put a spell on you and that's definitely, a combination of at least two takes. Uh, you can, t you know, she's using a different microphone in part of it than she is in another part, and 
So, you know, there's nothing wrong with combining things when you want to get the best result that you can. So, but that also makes me think that I would like to see her do, with her next cover, if she doesn't do that kind of nightclub kind of setting like I was describing, I think another way I'd like to see her do it is just the, the one shot technique like she has done with her Ivan Mendez covers and it could be made more slick you know the camera gradually tracking in or tracking out or moving around you can do that with one shot and that way you'd still get more of the slick production value but you're more knowing that it's all done in one take which makes it you know more impressive the vocals even more impressive so, yes, Angelina, that's what I would suggest. Do another one with Ivan Mendez, just an acoustic one. Single, you know, all in one take. Have the camera on rails, do some fancy camera moves, but do it all in one take so we know for sure that it's all done in one take. That's just so impressive. Like uh, her Adele song, A Million Miles, I mean, uh, A Million Years Ago, that one, the vocals are superb you know that's in our top 10 for me and it's all one take all right so wonderful to be getting more music from angelina jordan this has been chris walker with big angie fan channel here in hawaii aloha mm -hmm.